Hello, Poke Dudes and Poke Dudettes. I am Poke Dudes Red, and welcome to a Smash Bros. video. Have I done one of these before? Probably not. But New 2 is literally just around the corner as spring of 2015 has finally arrived. We haven't had any directs or anything yet, but we know that Mew 2 is coming within the next three months. Or maybe even longer, depending on uh, if Nintendo have decided to go. Let's send him out! Shipping! Ship him! But the thing is, Mew 2 has changed over the couple of years since Melee. About 10 years now? Over, over that? About 12, 10, 12 years since we've had Melee? And, well, during the main series of the Pokemon games, he's lost some moves and gained some new moves. So, I'm coming here to predict what moves Mewtwo can actually use in Super Smash Bros. Because, well, the specials mainly because, well, they're the main things that we need to focus on, as most of them on each Pokemon are mainly move sets plus multiple as well so not only are we doing four moves but we're also doing 12 I believe 12 yeah it's 12 12 moves so let's start with the standard move set first um, the standard B move that you would probably start with, or if you don't have to unlock them all, um, would probably continue being Shadow Ball, mainly due to the Shadow Ball never leaving the Mewtwo's movesets. Still uses it today, my Mewtwo particularly still uses it, because it's such an amazing move. It will be like Mew um, Lucario's Aura Sphere, but if they do decide to change that move up and not make it like Aura Sphere or Shadow Ball originally was, they could change it into Sire Strike, which um, from animations splits into multiple like areas and sends down an opponent. It could be like uh, Samus's uh, Samus. Samus. Why Samus? Samus, not like Samus Charge Beam. Um, it could be like Palutena's uh, Auto Reticle, where it targets onto an opponent and fires multiple shots at them, mainly between 3 and 2. It'll be useful, but since it's one of the pow most powerful moves that Mewtwo can learn, other than a future sight, this is without TMs and HMs. Uh, they could low lower it to like doing two to five attacks for each shot that hits. Plus, clearly making it dodgeable, just sending it out, boom, and it going. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, but if I had to make a third move, I would say no. Oh, the third one, Psycho Cut. Well, that would be the last one. Reasons for Psycho Cut, he, he learns it at level 36, and if you've played Hard Gold Soul Silver, and probably many others, I don't know when the move showed its first announcement, but Psycho Cut, it could like, it could charge it up, send it flying, it look, or it could like, it could send it, it could expand doing piercing damage as it goes through the stage that would be cool does anyone agree yeah but it's a physical move it's a physical it's a physical could have Mewtwo going forward doing the attack charging forward no doubt So Mewtwo's side B is Confusion. What does that mean? Well, he still learns Confusion. It's one of his start moves. And you can learn from Mewtwo if you catch him correctly. 
or through hacks at level 1, he would learn, he would already have confusion. And disable, which is his down B in originally. So I guess those can stay in place. And then you'll need to think, what would his down, like, other moves be? Uh, so I guess, for confusion, you can have, like, there could be, like, a Palutainer type reflect move. I guess you could have, like, Safeguard. Have like a reflection safeguard. Or barrier. Safeguard will have more reflection than barrier. If that makes sense. Barrier stay up longer but doesn't um but reflects less range and Is it barrier that does reflection damage? I guess. Even one of the way. Reflection barrier or confusion. Boom. Down special, which is disable, could be re recover or uh, amnesia, which would either recover health, or recover sort of like the Wii Fit Trainer, taking a moment and releasing the button at the right time to gain some health. But for Mewtwo, it could be like you hold it in for like a little bit, it will recover bits of health as time goes on. And then you release the button, back and smash. It takes like a little bit of um, time to sort of get back into the game, and then wah, you're ready to fight. Uh, and then with the other move, what was it again? Amnesia. Yeah, you could do like the down thing, and it like boosts his attack and defense for a shorter period of time. Can I get a little bit of a break? Come on. Last but not least is his up special, which is is teleport, which Mewtwo can't do anymore. So basically, instead of teleport, I guess like robbing with psycho cuts, maybe. Um. Future Sight, where they so I can keep the teleportation, but it does more damage. Where it does damage at the end, doing like a sort of an attack. And then leaving the last slot. Most probably. God fucking damn it. Me first. Wait, that could have been a down B. That could have been like a reflection attack, but no. I'm not going with that one. I guess I'll look at the HMT and the swallow and the internet still up. Focal, we'll go! Oh! Sorry, James! Looks like you got a Pokeball now. <laughs> so, the last slot for the up special could be Psych Shock, which is actually a TM move where he would fire, most likely fire down at like multiple. Uh, Psy particles like a Psy strike would, but send him upwards instead. Maybe like more of an upwards um, push your opponent down attack, maybe, or like do very little damage but send you up higher with or send you up lower than what the others would do and do like multiple rapid shots if. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's all my predictions for Mewtwo's special moves. I guess all his main moves would stay the same. Just boosted up attack, maybe, and make him a little bit faster. Uh, he's pretty, pretty fast in the actual main game, so, um. You know what to do, Nintendo. Uh, oh, Final Smash. How could we forget? From uh, Smash Bros. trophies, you'll find a Mewtwo trophy and a special Mewtwo trophy, which is both Mega Mewtwo X and Mega Mewtwo Y. It could. His Final Smash could be him changing in between. Um. 
each one like uh, Greninja's or like Greninja or um, the Zora purple where it could send his opponent up um, flying with a gravity thing like psychic throw up to the sky and then hold him there then switch to Mega Mewtwo Y start wrapping out with the Psy Strike sending him straight in and then going in for Mega Mewtwo X going in for a couple of kicks and some punches at high speeds um, they're switching back to Mewtwo Y going straight into Shadow Balls everywhere then back to Mewtwo, e Mewtwo X and going for some Focus Blasts and some Psy Strikes all the side strikes just to lastly use one more side st strike sending all above his opponent sending him straight smashing straight down bouncing off the stage and back up into the sky landing so hopefully landing some uh, like a meteor smash downwards onto other opponents, hopefully getting a bit of an explosion, sending that opponent flying off for a nice KO. Ah, sounds so epic! I bet other people have thought of that. Probably not. My idea. Copyright. Joking. Nintendo's prophecy. I can't do shit. So that's all I've got for this man of smack. The final. They say thank you to Smash. They say thank you. Also. And that's all I've got you guys today. So if you enjoyed this, please click the subscription button. If you want to stay updated on more of more of these predictions. If they decide to make other DLC characters, like Rayman. Maybe they could put FTO Auditory in there, that would be cool. But then Soul Club's already done. But then they put Link in there. That could have been awesome. No, they could have put Connor in there. Maybe the Edward? Eh. They don't make any more stuff. No, they should put Rayman in there. That would be pretty cool. Uh. Maybe the new Shulk dude? With the new Xenoblade X? Excuse me, guys. I'm going back into playing some Super Mario 64 DS. I found my DS size, so I'm going to go play it. I can play on 3DS, but I seriously cannot. My L my broke, but it's a broke. Well, my R button mainly. So, um. Yeah, I guess I'll play for a little bit and click there if you want to watch the um, Zelda vs. Zelda 3D bit here. Now, if you'll excuse me. Beaches Castle is my place to run around in circles as Luigi. Yeah, what is this? This is 64 version, but I can be Wario and I'll say Luigi. Yo, it's my sip of princess, I've only got one more stars and I got da 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 da